Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters Community, is brought to you by Husqvarna Viking, keeping the world sewing for over 140 years. Hi, welcome to Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters Community. I'm Mary Kate Carpetris, and I'm here today with quilt designer Sandra Clemens. Welcome, Sandra. Hi, thank you for having me. Sandra is here today to talk to us about doing inset seams or Y seams using our machine, um, a traditional technique that some people might shy away from, but it results in this beautiful traditional Lemoyne star block, and you're here to talk about your technique for doing that. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Um, so tell us, um, you know, tell us where we start with this block. Okay. So after your pieces are cut, we'll have eight diamonds, four squares, and we'll have four triangle units. Um, so to begin, we're going to create um, our first Y seam. And so-called because, you know, the seams come together in a Y shape. You've got three right. seams, which is unusual. Most of the time, right. we're looking for time-saving techniques or, you know, easier techniques that are easier to maneuver under the needle of our machine. Yes. Um, so again, this is something that some people look at and think, oh, that's only for hand piecing or it's more trouble than it's worth and yeah. that's not the case. No, not at all. You can totally do this on your uh, machine and you can zip through these just as quickly. Excellent. All right, so let's get started. Let's put this down here for now and... Okay. So we begin by taking our two uh, diamond units and we go ahead and stitch them together. Mm -hmm. Typically, I don't press the seam at this point, um, <clears throat> but for this case, I did so that it could lay flat. So it looked nice for the camera? Yes. yes. But, but generally speaking, you don't? Generally, okay, so I don't. don't. Okay. Yes. So then, to prepare for this unit to be inserted into the two diamonds, I go ahead and I take just one little stitch out. And that's all I do, just one yeah. little stitch. Okay. And that's gonna help me rotate um, the diamonds when I get to the sewing machine. Okay. So I'm gonna head over to the machine and sew this unit into the pieces. So once I have everything lined up, I'll go ahead and sew this down. Typically I like the needle down. So as I'm stitching, I want the seam, this seam here, to face towards me. Mm -hmm. And I'm feeling the seam with my index finger here on my left hand. Okay. And I'm trying to get as close as I can to that seam without touching it. Maybe one more. Okay. So then, once I get to that point, I'm ready to rotate the unit. So I'll put the needle up and the presser foot up. And I'll pull this out. And now, I'll just maneuver and make sure everything is square. Just so. Meanwhile, you'll notice that I press that center seam out and away from me. Mm -hmm. Then I'll put the presser foot down. Okay. And I'll try to get as close to that seam without touching it. And then I just go all the way through. Mm -hmm. Okay. And voila. And then voila. There's my unit. Beautiful. I have a question. I noticed before we started, we had um, a foot on the machine that had the little flange, the little quarter inch yeah. guide, and you asked to change the foot. Yes. Why, why do you not want to sew with a quarter inch guide? Just because when I'm rotating the unit around, I didn't want that uh, flange to 
kind of get in my you way. Can get in the way. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Great. It could be a little bit of a distraction. Excellent. Okay. And now we press, right? Yes. Now we press. And there's two ways that we can go ahead and press this unit. We can press the unit um, having seams folded over, mm -hmm. kind of like that. Or in this case, I'm going to press the seams in a circular, in a circular motion, kind of like that. Mm -hmm. So this is the type of unit that you pretty much have to press from the back first, right? I think it's just preference where you want to okay. start pressing. But that way you can control the direction of the seams. Yes. And, and um, it will all become quite important as we join more and more yes. of these units together. Yes. Yes. So. It's so pretty. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> it's like a little flower on the back. Yes. <laughs> Are you finished with this? Yes, okay, I am. Okay. that. And then we just keep going, right? Yes. So that's what the completed yes. unit looks like? Yep, your completed unit. So then we add our corner squares to the unit. And this is just a simple straight stitch all the way down. Mm -hmm. Again, typically I don't press the seam over just for the same reasons as um, this unit before. I see. I just want the flexibility to flip um, the seam forward and back when okay. I'm sewing it. So just like before, I'll insert this piece in, and it's very similar to another inset seam. Same thing where you take it out and you get as close as you can. Yes. And feeling with your fingers. Okay. Yes. And that ends up looking like this. Yes. And so then we end up having this. So then, again, we go ahead and add our next square to the unit here a simple straight stitch, and we make two of these units so that now we can do a double inset seam, one here mm -hmm. and then one right here. Okay. So at this point, um, I don't do any pinning uh, for these points at the beginning because it would be pretty hard if we were to pin it now before we took it to the machine, and then how would we be able to rotate that piece over mm -hmm. to get that? So what we do is we go ahead and stitch, stitch this unit over, just very similar to what we have been doing before. And then once we rotate it while it's on the machine, that's when I'll go ahead and pin the points together. And where, what do you mean when you say pin the points together? Is there a, 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 a seam intersection that you're aiming for to, yes. to guide? Okay. Yes. So I aim for this um, intersection here. Mm -hmm. So as I put the pin through that intersection and I come through, I'll aim for this intersection again too. Mm -hmm. And once the needle comes through, I always double check that the needle is coming precisely in the same um, intersection as it did mm -hmm. at this unit. Mm -hmm. Just a slight difference can make, can make a huge difference in yeah. terms of how your points come together. And then when you have that pin for placement, do you then pin on the sides to hold it still, or do you just use that pin for, you know, your accuracy, and then you continue sewing? Um, yes. Once once we put the needle through, and I have it just straight through, I then take another pin, and I pin one to one side, and then I pin the other another needle to the other side, because if you have it through the intersection, that first needle. And then if you fold it over to pin it together, you can inadvertently shift, mm -hmm. shift the pieces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yes, very good question. Okay. Thank you. Just want to, um, you know, I always say you pin as much as you're comfortable with. And sometimes I pin. There's some people who I work with who very rarely pin, but I try not to let that bother me. Um, <laughs> but um, it's just good to know some people have places where they always pin. Yeah. So that's what we just want to talk about. So, okay. Um, and then you just continue? Yes. Continue so, on? So then we continue on, again, go, going as far as we can to, to the seam without hitting the seam. And then we go ahead and rotate it again on the machine, keeping the needle, um, keeping the needle and presser foot up to give us the mobility to move the unit around. Mm-hmm. 
and then you put the presser foot back down and you put the needle as close as you can now um, to the other side of the seam without touching it. And then you stitch it all the way through. Excellent. And then you fold it out. And you have, you have your, your completed blocks. Yes. And we have two blocks here because you pressed the seams on the back differently. Yes, yes. Let's talk about that. Yes. So um, with this block, I did pinwheel all the seams all the way around. Um, I tend to prefer this method because there's less, um, I consider less thinking in terms of how your blocks and your seams are going to lock together as you build out your quilt top uh -huh. because you know they're all rotating uh -huh. in one way. So you don't really have to think too much right. about how your blocks are going to come together. Um, with this guy, some people are more comfortable with pressing their seams over to one direction. Mm -hmm. And with this one, you'll notice that with this Y, with the triangle, I press towards the center of the unit. And then with the uh, squares, I pressed away. And this is particular because if you're putting your units together, you want them to lock. Mm -hmm. um, and so there's a little bit more thought process that happens with that in terms of um, how you want your blocks come together. Excellent point. Um, I still pinwheel the center just because I didn't want to have so much bulk mm -hmm. having all the seams coming to one direction. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, I mean a lot of people like it when when the seams are pressed over into one direction um, because unlike the pinwheel, some people feel that there could be like a tiny little hole that goes through your block. Hmm. But um, it doesn't really happen though? It doesn't really happen okay. and um, I think when you pinwheel them, it makes the block a lot flatter. Okay. Yeah. Well, these are fantastic tips, great technique, and you also have a web seminar that you've done for us yes. um, that's available. Um, if you go to quiltandsewshop.com, you can see the web seminar, and you've also done, that goes into more detail, right? It goes more in depth. Yes. Um, also, it's all about Y seams, inset seams, and you do another block yes. in that as well. Yes, we'll do a Lotus Star with that one as well. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here today. This is beautiful. Yeah. Um, I can't, would love to see the completed quilt if you <laughs> put yeah, these samples together. Yeah. Um, I can go to your blog, I guess, and, and, and follow your progress there. Yes, so, yes. Excellent. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. It's our pleasure to have you, and we hope you come back sometime. Yes, thank you. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters Community, is brought to you by Husqvarna Viking, keeping the world sewing for over 140 years.